Welcome to this video on how to create wonderful images with stable diffusion. In this episode we will have a closer look how we can find, install and use so-called LoRa models for instance to create images where the girls are wearing traditional Chinese dresses like over here. In the previous video we went to this website called Civit AI to find so-called checkpoint models. They are needed to generate the images and as we can see there are a lot of them and they all have their own specific style of images that come out and some of them are general purpose. Um, however, their size is at least 2 gigabytes, uh, ranging maybe up to 7 gigabytes even. Uh, there is a disk space cheaper way to steer your images in a certain direction and that is to go find the LoRa's and uh, just click in your filter on LoRa. Oh, and then of course unclick the checkpoints and then all we see is LoRa files and also they can steer the images in a certain specific direction uh, but you need a model a checkpoint model first the LoRa files cannot work stand alone they are always an addition but the addition if we would look over here in this one uh, it's a file of only 150 megabytes and uh, almost any LoRa uh, they vary between 50 to 200 megabytes so that is quite disk space efficient. The file size has this trade-off that LoRa is working very well on one specific thing that it is trained for. Okay, let's go on the lookout for the uh, traditional Chinese dress and uh, let's type that in the search field and find uh, yeah this LoRa over here. That's the one I was looking for. It comes in a couple of versions, uh, style 3, style 2 and style 1. Let's do style 2. Uh, what we need to do is download the file, so I uh, click on this link and then we will see that we get that download done. Uh, in the meantime we can read over here, uh, the, the LoRa file, they usually work with a trigger word that you need to put in your prompt. And this one works with the word CNS underscore dress. We can copy that over here and then we have that already available. And when we read on, most of the time there are some instructions. Uh, here for instance, the recommended LoRa weight. We will see in a second how that works. Uh, but they recommend over here, try 0.7 first. So don't give it a too high strength, not higher than 0.8. 8, 5. Okay, let's remember that. Start with 0.7. Now that we have downloaded this LoRa file, we need to move it to our stable uh, diffusion install. And uh, let me cut it over here and then scroll down to uh, my stable diffusion uh, installation and there find models and inside the models find LoRa. And that is where we put it. Ah, I had already done that, I see. So I now have this LoRa file over here in the correct folder. That is, of course, important. This is all we need to do for the installation. We can now start to use it. I have entered a prompt here. The text is in the description. Uh, the model used is Realistic Vision 2. And let's generate uh, an image without the LoRa active yet. Uh, let's see what comes out. Uh, yeah, there is a, a girl in a Chinese dress. That is because I already put that keyword that we need in this prompt. The CNS dress was the keyword. And now let's add the LoRa. How to use a LoRa? Uh, well, you can, if you know exactly the name of the LoRa, you can type it in over here. But the safe way to do it is click on this P 
pink icon here under the generate button and uh, let's say that is the sun rising above the mountains and then you go to your LoRa top over here and there you find all the LoRa's that you put in your LoRa file uh, like we just did. We added this CNS dress. It does not have a picture yet. Let's also work on that but let's first use it. I only have to click it and look over here uh, what happens when I click it. Click and now all of a sudden it has added this LoRa to my prompt. However, it has added it with a strength of 1 and the recommendation was uh, to go to 0.7 to start with. Uh, let's do this, let's generate an um, image and let's see if she now is wearing a traditional Chinese dress. That's why we did it. Well, it seems that it works. She is wearing a, a traditional Chinese dress, more or less exactly like we saw in the picture of the LoRa file. Well, this is working fine. Uh, uh, one more thing to do, that is how can I get a picture in that overview window? Uh, well, we could use this picture, why not? Uh, let me save this picture. Uh, I have uh, changed my setup, my settings such that it lands in my download folder. There it is. Let me uh, cut this picture and place it in the LoRa folder. Oh, help, where is that? Uh, models, LoRa, and uh, yeah, paste it over here. There is my picture. This is the uh, file name of uh, the LoRa and all I have to do is give that picture the exact same file name. So I'm just going to copy uh, this name and then rename the picture file and paste it. But I have to add preview to it. Uh, so the name is now the name of the LoRa dot preview to be precise. All right, I restarted the uh, stable diffusion and let's now have a look here at this purple icon in my LoRa. I should now have the image that belongs to this LoRa and that seems to work perfectly well. Well, let's use it one more time. I entered the exact same prompt, but I changed the model to orange mix, which is specialized in anime and let's generate and uh, we should get a Chinese girl with a Chinese dress because that's what we asked for and well it is a nice dress even but not this traditional Chinese dress that we wanted to have and let's now activate our Laura uh, give me a second uh, yeah click activate it And don't forget to change the strength to 0.7. Let's now generate again and see if the girl changed her dress to a traditional Chinese dress. And yes, she did. Okay, this LoRa is working quite well. It's a small file, 150 megabyte, and you get the traditional Chinese dress. You can play with the colors uh, still and uh, all kind of stuff, but the dress will always be more or less like this. By the way, these images that we are generating, they are 512 pixels and if I would make that full screen it looks like this. It actually looks very bad. It is not sharp at all, even while it is anime, which could have sharp lines. Um, there is a fix for this uh, to work with upscaled images and the upscalers are available inside Stable Diffusion and that's how we can get an image like this. This looks a 1000 times better. And that is the subject of the next video, how to upscale your images to get this kind of quality. Maybe see you back there and in the meantime, have fun.